I want to show you a really quick video on how to make a touchless button. In this age of COVID, this is becoming very important. And I also want to give you some ideas on how you might put gesture control into your application. First, a bit about the technology. A conventional passive IR is one way to do this. The problem is that passive IR isn't very accurate. Most of the time it's okay, but you can't count on it. The flight sense time of flight sensors from ST are tiny LIDAR systems in a chip. They flash a known amount of light and measure the time it takes for that light to come back. The distance is the photon travel time divided by two times the speed of light. It is very accurate and it's all digital. Instead of getting a vague analog measure of IR change, the time of flight devices return a distance in millimeters and a count of the number of photons returned. As the hand comes closer, the conventional IR sensor does increase its voltage output, but it only measures the change in IR light. The time of flight sensors returns exactly where the hand is and what the returning signal looks like. With a swiping action, the output of conventional IR looks exactly the same as an up-down, but the time of flight sensors can tell the difference. To prove how the sensor works, we built a demo. The code is available, and I'll tell you how to build one of your own. I'm going to demonstrate the tap, the double tap, and how to do level control, how to detect a swipe, and just for the fun of it, how to do directional swipes. The demo eval kit in the middle is the P Nucleo 6180A1. It's less than $50. The software is included in STSWIMG014. Search for it on ST.com. It's free. Just build the code with your favorite compiler or use the STM32 Cube IDE. It's also available free on the ST website. Download it and get going. Copy the binary file into your sensor and you're running. At startup, it detects the number of sensors attached and it starts ranging. If you don't use your entire hand, a finger will work too. Demo set up to change modes when you press the blue button. In this mode, it detects taps and swipes. Press the blue button again and you're into the touchless button mode. In this mode, tapping or swiping changes the on off. Once you understand that the sensor ranges and gets distance information, it's actually quite trivial to do this. Here we cheat a little bit and use two sensors. These are sold as a two pack and the part number is the VL6180 SATEL. Buy them at the same time you buy your evaluation kit. The two sensors are ranging independently. Clearly, as the hand swipes, it's seen by one sensor before the other. From, terminate, from that, you can determine the direction of the swipe. And there you have it, touchless buttons and then some. If you have any questions, please go to st.com or contact your sales representative.